Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Scott and this is another My Bourbon Journey review. So if you're new to this channel and you're looking for reviews of different bourbons or ryes, uh, go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, also hit the bell notification that's going to alert you to when I'm doing uh, new uploads uh, or live streams, things along those lines. Uh, remember, subscribe, like, uh, do all of those things. Everything helps. Um, I'll have some links in the description below uh, if there's something you want to do, uh, I guess, regarding um, maybe helping support the channel, things along those lines. So again, I'll have those uh, linked in the description below. So uh, today, this is going to be a continuation of the kind of craft distiller uh, series reviews that I've been doing probably the past maybe month or so. Um, I've been fortunate uh, to have uh, a few distilleries send me some things to do reviews of, uh, which I very much appreciate uh, this being one of them. Uh, this is a Watershed Distillery out of Columbus, Ohio. Uh, this is uh, their, their bourbon. Uh, essentially, uh, doing a little bit of a kind of background on this, this is their, well, basically five grain uh, bourbon. So it was kind of interesting once I started doing some looking to see exactly what it was. Uh, I don't know the percentages they did list and I'll have this uh, also in part of the, the review uh, or the, the, end, the end portion of the, the review uh, as to uh, what the grains are. So uh, the mash bill on this, again, this is corn, wheat, rye, barley, and spelt. And spelt being basically uh, another form of I believe it was wheat. Uh, I don't think it was a different a different style of rye. I thought it was a, a different style uh, or different grain, but in the in the wheat family. So if I'm wrong, I'll correct that uh, again in the the description below. So uh, again, this is their uh, their watershed uh, bourbon. Um, this is a 94 proof or 46% ABV uh, bourbon, uh, aged up to approximately three and a half years uh, per the information on the website. Uh, again, this is their five grain. I kind of documented uh, what that was before. So uh, typically what I like to try to do is, you know, we'll go through the appearance, we'll go through the nose, the taste, um, and they kind of finish up with some other things. Uh, I'm undecided whether or not I'm going to add any water to this just because, just because it's, you know, with it being 94 proof, generally anything under the 100 proof range uh, I'm not a huge fan of adding water, but I may do do that just to see if it changes the, the flavor profile at all on this. So uh, why don't we go ahead and uh, we'll get into the review. So as you can see, this is kind of a nice, kind of a, a honey type of, of color to it. So maybe you can see on the, on the back. So um, one other quick thing, when they did send me this, they sent it in this, this great little uh, kind of box uh, presentation type of thing. So that was a uh, that was something different. I thought that was uh, pretty neat. But anyway, so you can see a nice nice kind of honey honeyish kind of color to that. So let's do the uh, let's get into the nose here. Hmm. So up front you get hit with kind of a, a sweet uh, kind of like a candy corn uh, right up front. A bit of a, a green apple as well. There's some of that rye that's present. Um, kind of a, you know, from a sweetness, it, it's almost more of like a confectionery type of sugar smell, kind of a real sweet, um, you know, dessert type of, of sweetness to that. Yeah, definitely that green apple, that green grape, some of the, the kind of the green fruit family, so to speak. Kind of that, that sweet, still a little bit of sourness kind of to that. Um, a different nose, a little bit of, uh, maybe a little bit of a, a nuttiness kind of nose to it. But fairly, you know, sweet initially, and then it kind of goes into a little bit more of a, uh, not sour in a bad way, but just kind of that, that green apple, green grape type of um, note to it. So let's get into the, uh, the taste. Cheers. So yeah, like the nose I was getting, I'm hit right away, very minimal heat, 94 proof, uh, very little heat, little bit up front, but nothing bad. Sits here on the, on the, the tongue really nicely. Uh, Flavor-wise, again, you're kind of getting that, that green apple, 
there's a little bit of kind of sweetness to it. Again, you get a little bit of the, the nuttiness kind of coming through as well. Some oak, uh, more rye than, uh, than wheat for me. Uh, you know, maybe that's the combination of the, the rye and the, the oak, but I'm picking that up much more. I'm, I'm assuming there's maybe a little bit of a higher rye uh, in that, but with five grain and 51% at least being corn, you know, it leaves kind of a smaller ratio to divvy up the other four grains. So I'd be interested to know, and maybe they can tell me uh, later on what the actual mash bill is. So if they do, I'll link that in the description below as well. Yeah, for me, I'm still getting a little bit of that, that kind of green apple, green grape sweetness, not as um, like confectionery on the palate as it was on the nose. Uh, kind of a nice mixture. So kind of a, a decent, you know, well-balanced uh, bourbon at, you know, around or approximately three and a half years. You know, it's starting to develop a little bit. So I'd be interested to see what this changes or how this changes in another maybe even year or two, uh, that would be really, really interesting to see. And I'm not sure if they're planning on aging things uh, any further or if the three and a half year mark is kind of, you know, where they wanna be with things, so. But yeah, really, really nice, really nice kind of sipping bourbon. You know, not something I'd, I'd probably wanna put in a cocktail, not because of the flavor or anything like that, but you know, for me, generally anything under 100 proof, I'm I'm not usually using in a in a cocktail, just because I don't think it necessarily holds up as well or or gives as much justice to the cocktail that you're making for it. So this would be something I'd prefer to just you know sip on, enjoy it that way. It's it's you know for sure you know able to to have that kind of done with it. So. Fairly dry, uh, medium finish. The more I kind of continue to go through this, the more I kind of pick up a little bit more of the, the, the oak presence that's kind of wanting to come through. So, you know, that's kind of nice, you know, balances out a little bit of the sweetness. So from that standpoint, it's, it's got some, some good layers to it. So as you kind of, you know, drink it, some things are kind of starting to, to develop, so to speak. And uh, yeah, that's that's really, really nice. So uh, price point on this, I don't exactly know. Uh, I didn't see anything that indicated from their distillery price wise. So I'll have to kind of double check some of that. But yeah, really, uh, really nice bourbon. So, uh, you know, I appreciate them, you know, sending this for me to to do a um, essentially an unbiased review. So that's that's always what I'm trying to do for everybody, whether I'm paying for it or I'm, you know, sent the stuff, I want to, you know, basically give, you know, my opinion, you know, good, bad, or indifferent. That's what I always try to do. So, so uh, with that being said, a couple other things. So I'm considering um, ordering some more of the, um, the My Bourbon Journey uh, Glencare and Glasses. So if anyone's interested you know, feel free to email me. You can uh, send an email to me at uh, mybourbonjourney01 at gmail.com. Let me know, uh, you know, if that's something you'd be interested in placing an order. Uh, I'd like to get at least an order of total wise, you know, above the 10 or 20 um, quantity range just to kind of make it worth it. So, and my thought is to sell these for uh, right around the $20 uh, mark a piece. Uh, shipping, I don't think will be too much, probably a few dollars um, if you're ordering, you know, more than, you know, two or, or something along those lines. So we'll see what we can do with that. So, you know, feel free to uh, send me an email and let me know with, with that. So same thing I can probably do with the uh, coasters. There's a, a guy close to me who does a really nice job with uh, making some of these and uh, I could reach out to him uh, and or the people who uh, kind of do the, the glasses for me as well. So. Uh, let me know if you're interested in that. The coasters, I think for a set of four, uh, I was selling those for about $40. Uh, so let me know if uh, either one of those interests you and you can send me an email. So as always, uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, leave me comments. I do my best to 
um, you know, kind of interact with everybody. I appreciate that. Again, I'll have some links in the description below for um, if you want to help support the channel in, in any way, you can check that stuff out. So uh, with that being said, we'll see you next time. Cheers.